When trying to define the legal and constitutional status of the treaty today, there are no easy answers. The formal legal position is that the treaty can only be enforced in the courts where it has been referred to in a specific piece of legislation, such as the Resource Management Act. But there is much more to say about why the treaty is important than that. The promises contained in the Treaty of Waitangi agreed the terms on which New Zealand would become a British colony. The treaty gave Britain the legitimacy or authority to govern in this country, and this is why it's recognised as our founding document. So where does the treaty fit in the New Zealand Constitution? To answer this, we firstly need to understand what a constitution is. It sets out the institutions of government, what their powers are and how they can be used. In the case of New Zealand, there is no one constitution document. Instead, it's a collection of common laws, customs and legislation that establish the framework of our government. It's generally recognised that the treaty is a very important source of our constitution, but there's a lot of debate about its exact role and status. To this day, it hasn't been clearly defined what responsibilities the treaty places on government, or how in practical terms it should influence the governance of New Zealand. In future, it will be up to the treaty partners accepting their duty of acting in good faith, fairly, reasonably and honourably towards each other to work these things out. And in working it out, help define the role of the treaty in years to come. The Treaty of Waitangi has been a central part of the Māori Crown relationship over a long period, and it's likely to continue to be now and into the future. In 1987, a judge said there's no doubt that the treaty is part of the fabric of New Zealand society. But it's going to be our job to work through exactly what role the treaty will have in the future life of New Zealand. And, and that's, that's a job we're going, going to all need to do together. together.